this is a miracle because this is one of the few times that I feel safe. I've lost over $100,000 in rehab to crooked and unlawful contractors in the years that I've owned this home. Well, I first came in contact with Ms. Carter around four years ago. We were contacted regarding the possibility of performing some electrical work. Me and a few other agents came out to the home and discovered that there was limited work that we can do due to the state that the previous contractor left the home. It's wonderful to know that people really care about the quality of what they do for other people. My name is Nadana Carter, and this is my house. I've had this house for 30 years, and I've had nine plumbers, seven roofers, three electricians, not including the work that they've done. Throughout the four-year period, we stayed in contact with Ms. Carter, just checking on her welfare and making sure that she knew that she had someone in her corner regarding the work that needed to be done. As time moved on and more and more contractors took advantage of Ms. Carter, we were stricken with how can we work with Ms. Carter to make her life a little bit more easier. And as time went on, it got more and more difficult in order to figure out what it is that we could do. This year, because of COVID, we could not do our typical annual Martin Luther King community breakfast, but we wanted to do something for the community. And we came up with the great idea of getting in contact with Ms. Carter and perform some of the work that needed to be done in order to allow for contractors to not only have the space to do the work that they can do, but also allow her movement to move around in the home and also keep an eye on some of her precious items in the home without contractors taking them and removing them from the home. So to be able to work with the Electricians Union this has been such a wonderful opportunity, a wonderful, wonderful opportunity. The people came out, they were pleasant, they helped me, they let me work, and they just moved mountains. And all I could say is, oh my God, they're so strong. And so we reached out to a few volunteers, making sure that we did not overwhelm the home with a bunch of volunteers. We made sure that we had the correct number to social distance, but still perform the work that needed to be done, cleaning out the backyard, basement and first floor of some of the items that Ms. Carter deemed that need to be removed. <laughs> and as silly as that sounds, it, it, it's not a little thing, it is a huge thing. This is just a wonderful thing to happen. I appreciate it. I appreciate you. I appreciate everything. Thank you. Thank you very much for the Thank time. Thank you. Yes. Absolutely. Yes. I can't say more. <laughs>